AI detection and recording attributes are some of Vice Cam V4's strongest selling points. But they are known to go haywire now and then. If you're having trouble getting the smart detection features to work on your Vice Cam V4, you are at the right place. As we know what you need to do to get this issue resolved. So stick around till the end of this video to get your Vice Cam V4 out of this clutter. All of the smart AI detection features on your Vice Cam V4 come bundled with the Cam Plus subscription. So it would be ideal to first check the status of your subscription before exploring the other troubleshooting steps. To do so, head over to the account tab from the bottom toolbar of your Vice app and select subscriptions. Next, select the plus subscription tile that you have subscribed to to check the validity. Now, if you have more than one Vice Cam, opt for a Vice Cam Unlimited subscription with support for multiple cameras since the basic plus plan supports just one camera per subscription. Once done, restart the camera and the app and check for the issue now. Smart detection is a premium feature that usually comes unconfigured out of the box till you have a working premium subscription for your cameras. With smart detection toggled on, you get to customize the detection patterns of your camera tailored to your needs with options extending from package detection to person and pet detection. Toggling it off though will only enable your camera to detect and record motion on a basic level. That is everything that moves in front of it with no subject recognition. With that said, here's how you can configure smart detection on your Vice camera. First, open the camera settings tab of your Vice Cam V4 and head over to the event recording tab. Then select smart detection and enable the features that you would like to record. Once done, exit the tab and restart the camera. You can verify the changes by emulating motion in front of the camera like walking in front of the cam while person detection is enabled. If you have a ton of dynamic objects such as swaying leaves or a waving flag within the camera frame, your camera is likely to pick up all these motions as false events. To avoid such inconsistencies, enable detection zones for your camera to focus only on a particular patch of your frame and ignore everything else. Also, detection zones come in handy if you have your camera installed somewhere overlooking a congested area like a car porch or your basement. To enable detection zones on your Vice Cam V4, head over to the Camera Settings tab and select Detection Settings. Then tap on Detection Zones and toggle on the feature. Now select the grid lines corresponding to the area that you would like your camera to focus on. Once done, exit the Settings tab and check for your issue now. One other thing that you need to keep an eye on is the number of tiles that you select for the detection zone. Too little of a grid will cause the camera to ignore a good margin of events and too many may trigger more false events. If you still can't get smart detection to work on your Vice Cam V4, try factory setting the camera. In doing so, you get to revert all the system settings and configurations to the factory defaults and get rid of any persisting bugs or errors from the system as well, giving you essentially a fresh slate to work with. But before we can factory set your Vice Cam V4, you need to first remove it from the Vice app. For this, head over to the Vice app and select the edit tile on the top right corner. Then tap on edit device and tap on the red delete button corresponding to your Vice Cam V4. Confirm your selection and you're done. Now press and hold the setup button on your Vice Cam for about 10 seconds or until the camera shows a solid red light. The camera shall then show a flashing LED indicating that the device has been reset and is now ready to set up. You can now pair your camera back to the Vice app and check for the issue now. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a Vice Cam V4 with smart detection issues. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, giving us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Vice Cam content like this.